everything. So trying to get the uh, camera situated here so everybody can see everything the best. Hopefully uh, get some people in here. Tie some stuff up. So first thing I gotta do, I poured all these off camera already. These are all gonna be for Corey. I gotta file them because they're uh, where I broke the sprues off. Get them all filed down, cleaned up. First in here, thank you, thank you. Corey's got a round of 64th ounce and 32nd ounce jigs here, so get them all deburred real quick. And that's all with our victory hooks. So they are, uh, they're sharp. Howdy, Howdy. Not too many of these to do. I think I got like 16 of them, so. It's gonna be difficult to keep up with uh, with chat because uh, I got my camera facing the other direction until I get to the vise and I'll flop it around and be able to keep up a lot easier. But welcome in, Catfish Fever. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. I got some uh, got some little jigs. Just got some deburring to do tonight, and then. Uh, I'm gonna paint them. You see, I got my heat gun, got all my Protect powder paints and stuff here. So, paint them up here in just a second. Got like five more to deburr here. Hey, Thumpy. Hey, Papa. Soph. Hey, baby. In here. Dang. Supporting me from all the way in there in the living room. <laughs> Got three more. Can you see it all right, Soph? Yeah, yeah. There's a candy cane stuff. You can probably move it if you want. But... This? You can see that on the camera? Yeah. Nice. Uh oh. And then all the way over, I can see. Yeah. Now we can see all your paint. You'll have to keep up, help me keep up with chat if you're going to stay in there. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, hey, Papa. Okay, we've got the last channel coming. Random question what watch. Hey, what's up, Rocco? Man, this is a Fitbit Ionic. And then just a little band off Amazon. Oh, I didn't know what he was saying. That's, yeah. That would just be mine. No spam. Oh, that's Rocco. No, he's not spamming nothing. 
Champion the Terminator Aholic. Champion of Terminator. Oh yeah, Broadhead. Hey. Huh? There you go. That barbecues. Yeah, I know, Broadhead, but I got other stuff I got to do too, buddy. We got a business we're trying to run too, man. I've been in there watching it every now and then. Seems like they had a pretty good crowd. There was like 190 people in there whenever I went, so. Hopefully, uh, he gets some high bids and stuff tonight. All right, so old Corey said leave two of these or one unpainted. I'll do one of each size. Is he supposed to be telling you what you're doing? No, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, 200 people. Think about doing a live review on your Garmin watch. Cool, Rocco. That'd be cool. Yeah. No, it's just like a Garmin GPS watch. Oh, okay. I'm going to do one of each size, Corey. I'll, uh... Oh, Bobby Johnson said, hey, or said, uh, wait and get my hand. Hey, Bobby. Welcome in. About to paint some stuff here, so... Um, I've got a bunch of random... They're not random. I got... Let's see... Three of each size, one sixty fourth and one thirty second ounce, with a red hook, and then I've got some uh, black nickel hooks as well, sixty fourth and thirty second ounce. I'm gonna paint them up. Oh, yeah. Get that paint fluffed up good. And then I always hold it by the eye of the hook to keep from uh, getting any paint on the hook. On the eye. Hit it over that heat gun for a few seconds. In and right back out. And that's as quick as it is. Painting these up. There's a white one now. I've got the rack out of this toaster oven setting across this Pyrex bowl, and then I'll hang them all up. Once I get them painted, we'll throw them in there and uh, cure them up. I'll probably just do an assortment. I know Corey likes all the crazy colors and everything, so let's go with a, we got a blue. Hey, Bobby, yeah, we do, for sure. Um, you can go to rockcreekbaitcompany.com. And what these are... Oh, that's cool. Nice. Nice. Yeah, thank you, Corey. Wait, Dizzle, hey, Ern Dizzle. Welcome in. Painting up some stuff for Corey. And Chad What's up, Chad? Knock that extra off. Peel that little bit of extra off the old head there. I don't know how well y'all can see it, but not the best lighting right here, but
Corey, you just want one of every color, pretty much? That's about how many we've got here. I know you said red, white, blue, and green. Hey, what's up, Travis? I'm going to paint a few things up, and then we're going to tie these up for Corey. So, kick back. Grab that thing. Grab them by the eye there. Corey said yeah. One of every color. All right. <laughs> Hit it over the old heat gun for a few seconds, get her good and hot. And Oh yeah, for sure. There's the green. That's the John Deere green right there. John Deere green. This, of course, gold. This makes an awesome jig right here. Corey knows about the gold. Always be sure, I just stir mine, it's just a little metal rod. Be sure and wipe it off good between, um, between paint so you don't mix any colors up. like that that one's got a lot of sparkle what's going on chris? favorite time of day when they go live thanks chris i appreciate it man painting up some jigs tonight so hopefully you enjoy watching it's not, we don't have too many to do and then we'll get over there get set down in front of the vice and be a little more uh, a little easier to keep up with the chat and stuff too so this is a metallic black Hey, Robert Mack. Hey, what's up, Logan? This metallic stardust black makes for a pretty head. Corey's never seen this color. I've never sent anyone this color before. Jeffro sent me this. Said it was too thick for his, uh, all the fluid beds. I don't use a fluid bed because I like to stir mine. It'll make a cool color. It's black with a lot of flake, a lot of sparkle in it. Can you hear me? Do what? Oh, yeah. Hey, Stacy. Welcome in. That black one's good, Corey. You'll like it. That stardust. You haven't seen it yet. Um, I've got some chartreuse. And it is a bright, I mean, bright, bright chartreuse. Chartreuse. Oh yeah, a special order wallet. Oh. Fly wallet. Getting it beaded up. That'd be cool. I'm gonna save my red and this red bug and this copper color. I want to save those for red, red hooked baits. Um, 
to do is one of these dragonflies. It's a good color. Okay, who made our flower? A guy named Cade. Okay, what is the name of his YouTube? He doesn't have a YouTube channel. He just has an Instagram. Huh? I mean his Instagram. His Instagram is Cade's Maids Leather. Y'all see all the sparkle in that paint? I don't know if it shows up or not, but. Dragonfly is just kind of a turquoise. Um, I know it's not very good lighting. Just kind of a turquoise color with a lot of silver flake in it. It's a really, really pretty color. It's a good clear water color for us. And I know Corey likes blue. He said said blue, so. He shared Kate's Instagram. Oh yeah, there you go. Hey, Wendy Jane, DJ's Adventures. Man, we're doing awesome, awesome, awesome. Painting some fly wallet, or painting some jig heads. Painting some jig heads, talking about fly wallets. <laughs> and uh, as soon as I get these in the oven, we'll get over to the vise and start tying. That color is sapphire blue. It's a really deep blue color. We've got one more. We can go lime green. Don't have anything. Actually, we don't have anything orange. Okay. Get an orange. Fish head videos again. Fish head, what's up, man? Welcome in. Painting a few jigs. I got five more. Who? Stuart. Stuart. What's up, Stuart? Mr. Ray, what's up? Thank y'all for being here. I appreciate it. Got a few more. Got five more jigs to paint, and then uh, we'll be over there tying. I'll be able to keep up a chat a little better. Probably do two in this color, Corey, because this is a, uh, I think you're really going to like this color. It's a new one that you haven't seen yet, but it's a copper. It's kind of a bronzy copper, really natural looking. Or Dylan said, I'm right here. Is Dylan the son of Dylan? I think so. Oh, Thank you. 
do a red bug and then a candy apple red and then we'll we'll come over go over to the vise Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Uh oh. Take it easy, Logan. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate it. No carp, just bluegill. Get his PB, 1.1 pounds. That's a huge bluegill. One more in red here. Stuart, I saw our premiere. He said it was amazing. Hey, thank you, Stuart. I appreciate it. Last one, guys. And then we'll get situated over here in front of the vice. Always knock it on another wrench. Helps knock any excess paint off. Gets it good and clean. I make sure that eye is completely clean before I bake them. Yeah. Uh, one of the other guys said his son caught a, or Dylan caught a 1.1 pound bluegill. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Unplug that. Get the toaster oven over here. Put that over, because the end of that's still super, super hot. Get plugged in. And you'll see that they all just hang up there on that rack. Slide them in there. And then we'll go uh, 375 for 20 minutes. I know y'all couldn't see that at all, but 375 for 20 minutes. We'll see y'all or see the jigs whenever they're done. Now, if I can get this out without pressing a button and locking the screen and ending live or something. All right. Orientation's locked something. I don't know what it said. I got two here, unpainted ones. Corey wanted a, um, a couple that were unpainted so silver looking see if I can get these get these in here and without pressing a button it'll be a Christmas miracle all right hey what's up everybody There's 12 people in and 11 likes 11 likes all right, we're here now. Thank y'all for being here tonight. Really appreciate it. 
We get this charger plugged in. Got it. 12 likes. Awesome. 13 now. <laughs> Sophie said somebody was slacking. There's my respirator. That's why I don't go live when I'm pouring lead because it's really muffled. Super muffled. Y'all probably wouldn't be able to hear anything. So I don't ever go live. But that's my um, do it roundhead jig mold that I do all my lead pouring on. It's got all the sizes and everything. And go from one eightieth ounce up to a quarter ounce. Do it. Makes a good mold. I've got, I don't know, seven of them probably now. Another one on the way that I'm not going to tell you all about until I get it in and get some, get them built. <clears throat> but it's going to be a, it's going to be pretty sweet. I'm excited about it. So anywho. Need some bananas for 500. Did you hit 500? Awesome. I'm going to start off with a 64th ounce right here. Hit the thumbs up, folks, if you haven't. Pop in and say hello. Share your social medias. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for sharing that. Get this latched up here and get something tied on it. Had to swap threads. YouTube took off oh, 59 bananas. Oh, is that what you call your subscribers? <laughs> the bananas? I got you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. That's all there is to painting jigs. I mean, it's not, it's not a super complex thing. It's just really time consuming. Um, and then also, you know, I know, uh, was it Bobby or whoever was asking earlier about our jig heads? They are not priced on our website very um, reasonably because I'm kind of not in the market of selling just jig heads. I am more in the market of selling like tied stuff. So if you absolutely want them, you can go on there. I think they're like 50 cents a piece. I mean, they're pretty steep what the price of them is on there right now. For, un for no tied, just buying a head like this is really crazy, so... YouTube called the spamming. Oh, no. Phil, I've lost more bananas than I have. Me too. It's a grind. I know I've lost more watch hours than we've got. That's a pain. I'm told Sophie Day, I was like, I'd have just kind of done with it. I'm tired of, I'm not tired. I'm not done with it, but it's, it's a pain to hit there, man. 4,000 is a lot. All right, so Mr. Corey wants a silver one. I've got this little silver micro Chanel that'll go good on it with a brand new out the pack. Never even been cut on yet. Silver bucktail from Midwest Bucktails. Look at that thing. You talking about a pretty tail. Every... It's just nice. He does a fantastic job. Again, not sponsored by that dude, but I give him a lot of business and highly suggest his stuff. He does a great, great job. And it's just a good dude doing it in his garage, you know. So we'll get some silver hair off the ear. Just get the very tips of them. It'll tie in nice. Hey, what's up, fish head? Gonna make a killer one? I'm pumped already, nice. Just cut off that little bit of hair that I want. And this is a 64th ounce head, so it's, it's lightweight. But Corey likes the lightweight stuff. been taught by the best 
Uh, one person, 200K subs, four vids already monetized. And it's for something like collecting rocks. Yep, I hear you. I know it, it's crazy. Really, really is crazy. But Oh, well, what do you got to do? Just keep on keeping on. I know I'm going to put some of that gray flash in there. That's for sure. I can hear Dylan's watching Blippy, and he's uh, Blippy's also talking about bananas over there. Start a new one collecting rocks. I know it. That my father-in-law's account, that West Boundary Coons, he's got like, I don't know, probably 3,800 subscribers in a week. Or It's been insane. Big Malone or Blonde in a bikini catching dinks. Yeah, no joke. Especially if their last name's Martin. They usually go pretty well. Except I guess Scott Martin's daughters don't catch uh don't catch dinks, but uh use the Rocks Channel support this one. Told my wife to do a cat channel. I know it. People like cats, man. They sure do. What'd you say? 4240, last time I looked. Jeez. Don't say the S word. Say banana. They've grown on me. I was still required a... Uh, <laughs> Big Malone. Big Malone in a bikini. <laughs> you definitely lose <laughs> you definitely lose at least one subscriber. <laughs> if anyone wants forty seven cat videos a day, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so let's spin the body up here on this one. Sir Tiberius, yep. Almost off work. Gain 30k country bumpkins. Yeah, they'd be playing. Put the deliverance theme song in there. You definitely, uh, definitely pick up some some characters. And little dueling banjos. I know you know it. I done seen a short in there. <laughs> you was playing it on the guitar. Corey, what you think? Is that silver? Well. Silver gray, yep. <laughs> Mo dog likes that short. <laughs> That doesn't surprise me. Mama! 
Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Well, since our um our video today completely failed, I'll tell you all about what we attempted. We filmed this intro, this big, uh, you know, intro about the our plans for the video, whatever. Black. Black on here with the silver head. Black chenille and black uh, black tail. You want bucktail or marabou? We was gonna film a, I'm gonna teach my pregnant wife how to live scope fish today. And then could not get her to hook a fish. <laughs> we completely failed. I found, I got up, I got up front, found a crappie, hit it, set it, got it up, caught one, and then uh, couldn't get her to hook up with them. Marabou with a silver flash. But it uh it failed. The video failed. We didn't we didn't catch any fish, so we'll do it again sometime. Definitely don't uh they don't all work. Giving you fits this year so far. Yeah, they've uh I haven't been on them actually this year, like to actually say like twenty twenty four has not been a good year for me either, crappie wise. Other than ponds, but I mean, I guess it counts. I don't know. I have a hard time telling myself that ponds count, but at times I really feel like they do. And then I'm always sure to specify if I'm talking about like my personal best bass. I'm always like sure to specify pond or. My new video, will Big Mom ever buy a live scope or be left in the past? <laughs> you just fish Randy Blockett style. Maybe if I say a bunch of people's names, huh? It'll push this video into the algorithm. People will try to watch where I was talking about them. Say Ben Milliken and Randy Blockett got in a fist fight on this live. And just let them find it. Love the RB style too, though. I do too. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I have it now, and I wouldn't trade for my live scope unit. But at the same time, I could definitely see days where just leaving it completely at home, take the unit off the boat, leave it at the house, don't mess with it, would be fun too, because. You definitely spend a lot of time staring at the stupid thing. Today, Sophie was like, I see why you get so frustrated with this. I was like, yeah, because you see 300 fish that won't eat. It's a pain. Mystery bite, and those ones where you know there's fish you cast at, sure enough fish. Oh, yeah, you just know, man, right under that log, there's going to be one laying. And then when you're right, just off instinct, yeah. That does feel the best. It's hard to beat that for sure. What color body you want on this one there, Corey? I'd put silver flash in everything. Oh yeah. I'm gonna show you, man. This is my favorite flash right here. This is a pearl. Let me flip it around. Maybe it'll show a little better. Yeah, so it's a white. It looks white, but then the light hits it. Each like individual strand has like little holographic little things on it. I love this color. I call it pearl, I guess. I don't know. Up to me. All right. Well, if I would have used a cooler color thread, I could have made it a UV resin body, but... Malone said purple. We'll throw a purple body on there. Purple and black go good together. 
I got a ton of brand new micro chenilles in too. Golden brown, that's a pretty color. We'll probably use that one. I'm gonna be busting out probably all the micros tonight for Corey's jigs because they're all tiny. Teeny, teeny, tiny. There's the purple. That's what I was looking for right there. Tiny rope lights. Yeah, it is what it looks like. Has that kind of fly tying flash. Oh yeah, for sure. I love it. It's great. It's really pretty. Throw a purple body on this one. Trout Fanatic Live in the AM is live. I'm trying to help the kid, but he thinks he knows better. Oh, yeah, people like that, man. It's hard to help them. Um, they'll learn their own lessons. I mean, the biggest, biggest fun is part of it is just finding out what works and doesn't work. And then a big thing is, like, what works in my lake and my rivers it's not going to work in lakes and rivers in, you know, Pennsylvania, probably, so, or wherever he's at, so. That's all right. There's a purple one with the black, little black flash, black marabou. Oh, shed load of pearl, yep. There's a little bitty guy. Whoop, gone forever. <laughs> no, I see it. Marabou. Throw it in the bowl. Now we gotta wait on our, um, on Corey's jigs to finish baking. I thought I would time it a little better than that. This is that, well, this is the, um, this one's called Red Bug. You see how, which this is an eighth ounce, but see all the color? in the the flake and stuff in it it's a pretty color i like it a lot victory hooks are sharp people yeah tried telling him put his phone horizontal and do a live he's not listening to the device oh yeah yeah it's um i like setting it horizontal like this The victory hooks are that the crappie I caught today. I did not. I built myself some of these victory jigs, of course, to try out. And I did not even hook set hardly and just kind of barely felt them and just gave them a little pressure and started reeling. Of course, kept pressure on them all the way to the top. But then when it gets there, the thing about these victory hooks compared to the must ads I was using. These are a lot thinner wire, so it makes a lot smaller hole in the fish's lip. So the barb hangs on a lot better. 
and they're just sharper period in, improves hookups of course and they're just grab you instantly sticky sticky sharp hook got some big old eyes yeah you can zoom in for sure um yeah i done the new one they sent yeah it's these the size ones on the eighth ounce size ones. They sent 200 new ones. Um, I ordered a pack of them. I had a pack of 100 that had a tempering issue from the factory. They replaced, I notified them and they went and checked and sure enough, all of their jigs were bad on the size ones. So they, uh, they replaced, refunded my money, refunded my shipping, gave me $5 credit, and sent me 200 hooks. So I ordered like 10,000 of them um, the other day, uh, the 31st, January 31st. So I have a bunch of victory hooks coming, and like 10,000 coming. So I've got like 5,000 more mustads to get rid of. That's the mustad. This is a must-add hook. There's still nothing wrong with them. I mean, they're still a good hook. They're just not as sharp. And they're a little heavier gauge wire compared to the Victories. I, I know you're not going to be able to tell anything. And it's only about a five thousandths difference, which is, you know, equivalent to, like, a piece of... of Thickness of a piece of paper a little more. Oh, yeah. Every one of these hooks. These hooks right here. Do a bulk sale. Um, it was just the 100 that had the tempering issue. But they would break. Uh... I keep these completely isolated too because I do not want to get them mixed back up. Yeah, these are garbage for sure. Well, get one out. They would break right at this bend. There was a tempering issue in the plant at the factory and you put very much pressure at all right at that bend and they snap, look at that. You should not be able to do that. They found the issue at the plant and now you can take them and straighten them out. I mean, they, they fixed it, but, and they made it right by me too. But yeah, that's, uh, that's something there. Yeah, it's crazy. You should not be able to do that by hand, man. That's nuts. But I've got them now. I'll grab one. I'm going to go check, see if those jigs are done. Sophie already gave up and went to sleep, so. It's early now. She went. She gave up part on me early. I'll have to keep an ear out on Dylan. Let me go see if Corey's jigs are done. I'll be right back. Maybe they won't be too hot. They're all they're all done. See the mustad hook, I mean the victory hooks now. 
you can straighten them. They bend at that 90 like it should. Obviously, you're you're gonna you're gonna straighten them out. You don't want them to you don't want them to break. So that's pretty uh pretty wild stuff. Hey, what's up, Yak Shore? Welcome in, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I need to do a um like a bulk sale of the mustads. I thought about getting rid of them, but then again, I kind of thought about just tying jigs and selling them like a at a discount by there, just for the mustads to get rid of. Oh, listening while I rig up the bass rods for tomorrow morning. What do you have any idea about your water temperature? around you the little lake we were in today water temp was like 46 45 46 definitely definitely rising which is exciting all right so i know Corey had a couple that he actually wanted wanted um, color wise on here and then uh, the rest of me wanted just some randos I think rando so how high is the water papa oh yeah it wasn't mine wasn't high but it was a super small lake love to try your mustads for sure we'll have to get some over there um yeah, no doubt. All right, so that is one of the blue, sapphire blue. I'm gonna have to find it, dig through my toad over here, but I've got some, um, some chenille that he likes. I also got some blue marabou feather too. Or it's kind of an aqua blue, a teal. Try it out. Try to get some of this marabou off the side. This is a little piece that I used for something else earlier. But the cool part about the tiny little jigs is that uh, you can use what's left off of your big jigs and still make good tiny ones. I don't ever throw those little pieces away. Drop shot, finesse jig, jerk bait. A rig, Texas. <laughs> Yeah, I think you got it all covered there. Texas rig, chatterbait, lipless crank. Definitely a rig, jerkbait, drop shot. Dolphin colors, yeah. The cool thing about the Super Bowl this year is no matter who wins, I'm going to make some red and white ones. And it'll be the Chiefs or the... Um, 49ers. All right. I'm going to have to dig for... No, I'm not. It's right here. One of them. A little... It's already a Palmer chenille, but he likes this stuff. It makes a really buggy, minnowy looking thing. Saw bright pink marabou yesterday. That's cool. Definitely drop shot, uh, Yak Shore. That's a confidence bait for me or Big Malone there, I know. That's my go-to when the bite is tough anytime I go to a drop shot. Shaky head, yeah. 
shaky head, more Big Malone's speed. I'm more of a drop shot and definitely not an A-rig thrower. I know they work, but I just never, I don't have confidence in them, so... Baited, shaky head, decided finesse jig. If I can get this marabou or Chanel to cooperate with me, it'll make this a lot easier. Get it to go the right direction. I want to get something on A-Rig. I know the white bass are running too. Oh, yeah. White bass are running. Are you in the south? Yeah, sure. Drop shot 22. Yeah. Tennessee. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, white. That's what, the only reason I asked. White bass are starting to run up here, run here too in Arkansas. Also, I knew you were somewhere close if they were running. Did you go to the East Tennessee fishing show? You did? Dude, that's awesome. I'm jealous. It was a good one. That is so cool. Did you see, um, there was so many people, I'm sure, but one of the booths, a vendor guy, Brazalo Custom Lures. Did you see Danny? At Brazalo's booth. He's an Arkansas guy. Has some really, really awesome uh, buzz baits. He has a really good clacking buzz bait called a bushwhacker. I like it a lot. Recognize the brand. Yeah, Brazalo. He's a cool dude. Oh, Danny. He's from Arkansas. He's from over around Little Rock, but... There's your your weird fuzzy stuff, Corey. Palmered Chenille. <laughs> nice, has a good move. Has has a buzz bait set up in front of a fan. Good move. Well, fuzzy. Hey, DJ's still in here. Cool, cool. Welcome in again. Yeah, it's a good move having your clacker set up in front of a fan. He does a lot of shows, and I mean, he's full time. Yeah, clack a lack of for sure. He's a full time, you know, bait maker, so. I'd make all those shows too if I could, if I had the time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Keep seeing stuff that I'm I'm wanting to use, but I gotta uh, use other stuff too. Stuff that I know we got head colors that it would go good. Keep laying it out here. Hey, Glacier Shark, welcome in. So I've got a lot of really cool, like, uh, chenilles and stuff that they're just going to be too big for, for these micro jigs.
You don't have to holler at Mama, Dylan. Hmm? Well, see what I can find here. UV? All right. We can do a UV. For sure. As soon as I find my, there it is. Danzel Buck. Peacock Earl. I do have some Peacock Earl. Didn't realize I wasn't subscribed. Oh, I appreciate you subscribing, man. Oh, you brought Glacier Shark here? Cool. The you your boat hats, Jamaican came on my life. I was talking about fishing for Barracuda. Cold to hot, yeah. Let's see. This is a new, um, new bucktail color. Corey will be the first one, except for Sophie, that has anything out of this. Again, with Midwest colors, man. And also, those fibers are crazy, crazy long. Oh, you found me through Stuart? Awesome. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you for sharing me out. Keeps me entertained. <laughs> yep, I appreciate it. I'm glad y'all are in here. And thank you, Stuart, for sharing us out, too. I really appreciate that. Send him the link on the WhatsApp. That's cool. I leave Corey's tails way longer than I generally do, but he cuts his off and different geographic locations. Oh yeah, for sure. Up like North America, um, Northern North America, like up in Indiana or even further North, like Minnesota, Michigan, they have really, really long tails. A lot better than we have down here in Arkansas. Only shared you out to people who actually want to be here. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm glad that y'all want to be in here and hang out. <laughs> Florida deer are like fuzzy bunnies, yeah. They definitely don't get too big down there in Florida. Put a piece of that pearl flash down the side of this. Oh, fuzzy bunny. Sitka deer here aren't very big. Buck will get a little bigger, yeah. Body-wise, for ours, um, you know, we'll get deer that, you know, Field dressed are 200, 220, 230 pounds. 
they're pretty good sized animals. I mean, is that the one with the fangs? No, sick a deer don't have fangs. Corey knows, deals with animals more than anybody. I don't think they do. Uh, maybe. Psycho. What? A deer has fangs? I don't guess I knew anything about it. Crazy. Ooh. Hey, you feel better? My head is warm. Good. You had me worried that you passed out no. for good for the night. I was just trying to get rid of my headache. Oh, does it feel better now? A little bit, yeah. It's from staring at that live scope screen. Okay, I'll eat. Well, I guess, let me eat. Oh, dear fangs. Is it here? What? I need to eat it. Yeah, I'll eat it. Check that out. UV resin. A deer with fangs is terrifying. I'd never heard of it. Hey, V8, welcome in. Thank you for coming into the old channel. Watching us tie a few things. Yes, yeah. That's what I'm working on right now. The UV resin body. You see that pearl showing up. The old bucktail buzz bait. It's coming, Corey. It is coming. Be ready. It's coming. My uncle used to have Virginia's second largest buck. That's crazy. Gary Gilbert buck, Henry County, Virginia. That's wild. Yeah, that little UV resin. I love the UV resin. This stuff's super cool. We'll hang her up. Cool thing about those is they just hang right on the side of the bowl and dry up. Now we got black, gold. Here's another little bitty guy. 64th ounce. That's a that's the dragonfly color. All these jigs tonight are for Thumpaholic. These are all Corey jigs tonight, so. Let's see. Get some black 140. Huh, cold. Cold. Yeah, it ain't cold up in here, I'll tell you. Building all kinds of stuff tonight. Uh, all, it is all um, 64th ounce or 32nd ounce. It's all small, but that's all right. It's all right to be a little bitty. Uh, some country song that said that. Pregnant wife went to bed a while ago. 
Well, mine's, mine's also pregnant. Congratulations. That's awesome. Fish head videos. When are, when are y'all due, man? I don't, I, I feel like maybe we went over it. I need to get on some crappie. Isn't that time of year for them? Oh yeah, for sure. It's always crappie time. It's like hammer time and crappie time. Those are the two times that it always is. Alan Jackson. June 3rd, awesome. Ours is due uh, July 14th, but we'll have it July the 9th. It'll be a scheduled scheduled cesarean if we make it that long, you know. All goes to plan. What when are they doing? June 3rd. That's cool. Where's Deals? He's over there. He's laid down almost completely on the couch, watching an iPad and eating Cheez-Its. Living the absolute dream. No. No, he ain't going to sleep. He ain't giving up that easy. April 1st and August 7th for your first grandbabies. Awesome. Congratulations to you, too. First grandbabies. That's exciting. I'm sure you're excited. <laughs> oh, cheese it, dinosaurs. Yep. is excited yeah for sure and my wallet's crying yes yeah, sir i understand that there's a little 164th ounce just a little silver a little silver chenille some bucktail We need to. We need to add on to our house. <laughs> we just haven't yet. We'll be um we'll be scrambling if we find actually we find out the gender next Friday. So we've got a week and then we'll know. And then uh as soon as we um as soon as we find out if it's a girl, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna be scrambling, trying to find room. Boy, they can just bunk up. Him and Dylan, they can share for a while. So, share everything, clothes, toys. Yeah, they'll share it all. Poor wallet, all them months flying away. I like the shiny one a lot. Awesome, sweet. I appreciate it. Same thing with a piece of brown marabou here that I saved the the small piece. It's plenty of plenty of tail for these sixty fourth ounce ones. Good crappie pole to buy for fishing on a boat. It honestly, V8, um, anything, 
anything's good. Um, yeah, I mean, you can spend as little or as much as you want and catch the same amount of crappie. They genuinely don't care what you're holding. Um, the setup I have right now is a um, ACC crappie stick. I've got a seven foot, six inch medium light rod. And then I've got a Daiwa Revros uh, 1000, LT 1000. And I love it. I mean, it's a fantastic combo. I can cast a jig a mile. But like, yeah, like that uh, ugly stick, the ugly stick GX2. That's the other sport. G2C, good Todd, good rod. G2C. I don't get it. <laughs> but for sure the fish don't care. I mean, I caught, I've caught a lot of fish off of my Shakespeare stuff and I've caught a lot of Got a lot of fish off of my ACC stuff now, so. Hush. Who are you hushing? Mama. You hushing mama? I'm Big Mom, you got me completely lost. G2C is a nine. Not saying the bad G word. I don't even know a bad G word. I don't even... <laughs> I don't understand. Hush and Mama, yeah. That'll, that's a good way to get in trouble real quick. Oh, he's trying to... Hear yeah, Gracie I, making noises. I didn't, I didn't actually say anything, so I don't know what he's talking about. Oh. I don't even want to say anything. My son be shushing. Oh, they do. <laughs> Dylan shush that mama. He don't. He don't. He don't scared. G two C is a nine. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nine millimeter. Okay. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. I've still never heard of a G2C. Oh, pew pews. Yep. Did he just say your bottom teeth are falling off? No. Okay, because I was like, I don't think they are. Oh, me too, Corey. That's actually pretty much exclusively all I have as far as the hand, hand, hand size pistols and stuff go. My favorite one, I have a, um, <laughs> sorry for all the messages and confusion. Oh, no, you're good, man. Mommy, look, watch, watch. I've got a Smith & Wesson Governor that probably one of my favorites. It's a beast. 
I love 410. 410, for some reason, is just the caliber that I have collected. And I've got like probably six of them. Different, different types and sizes and whatnot, but there's your brown buggy. 64th. Yeah, that's basically what the governor is. It's a judge with... Oh, mommy, it's just the Smith & Wesson version. And mine can chamber ACP rounds also. 45 ACP. Yeah, they're pretty sweet, though. And then mine will also chamber Long Colt and 410. Looks thumpable. <laughs> I think it will. It'll get thumped for sure. Her face is? You say her face is getting old? Yeah, Oh, white whiskers. Her's getting old. Dylan, does Gracie's heart go boop goop or does it go goop boop? I was just beating. Oh. I hear it. You hear it beating? Yeah. Is it going fast? No, it's going slowly. Slowly. It's probably normal. Probably. <laughs> probably. She's probably normal. She's probably all right. Night court judge, black with a snub ghost. That's cool. Oh yeah, two yeah, the barrel length two point seven five. I have an old lever action drop barrel four ten. I do not have a lever action. That is sweet. I have a bolt action that's magazine fed, 410. And then I have the Ross, the Rossi, or is it Taurus? No, I think it's Rossi, Circuit Judge. It's um a revolving rifle, like a carbine. It's pretty neat. Neat little guy. Love your 3030. Oh, yeah. I've got an old 3030. Mine's a cork handle V8. Single shot Ithaca 64. That's cool. It's a... um. Mine's a cork handle. I don't know what the super grip is. Just a the big rubber. I like cork. Um, it's like just a really traditional vibe on it. And my combo looks goofy because I was dead set on the Daiwa Revros. That was the reel I was going with, period. And then I ended up going with that ACC rod, so it kind of looks a little funky color-wise. But the crappie haven't cared. Nor can they even really see it, obviously. By the time they see it, they done caught, so. Yeah, if they're seeing my rod and reel, it's too late for them.
I want to say it was $75. Yeah, time they see it is done too late. Yes, sir, for sure. They already messed up if they've made it that high. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard you say. Did you hear him, babe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so anyway, I've got a orange and black reel on a green rod, but oh, well. Supposed to be crappie fishing on Sunday, now it looks like the weather might come in. Oh man, only day off. That's a bummer. Uh, distinguished Combat Magnum 357, revolver number 586. Was a military officer gun back in the day. That's cool. This one I just put flash on the very bottom. Mr. Selleck. <laughs> That's cool. Gold head, brown body, and then a bunch of gold flash on the bottom of it. Mr. Selleck. Watch, 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 watch. Here's an orange one. Come on. Come on. Make this one a UV body. Thank you, I appreciate it. Looks good. Also, 357 snub nose. I've got a 357 Taurus, but it's got like a six inch or seven inch barrel. Oh, pocket monster. <laughs> yeah. 357 don't have one. Fits the ankle well. I really like pizza. You do like pizza? Yeah. Is mommy awake? Barely. She said barely. Been on sixes and seven cents. I mean, a good while. Got to use vacation to go on big trips. Man. Who doesn't like pizza? 
<laughs> I think everybody likes pizza. Everybody in this house likes pizza. Pizza in any form. Rolls, pizza rolls are popular up in here. Pizza rolls are real popular up in here. Travis, have you ever are using your light and your re uh, resin feels like it's trying to drip? Um, change the batteries in your light. That thing, it does. it's kind of hard on batteries, so it eats them pretty quick. And if it starts getting weak, it won't cure that resin quick enough, so... If you start having trouble with that resin trying to run and not not cure properly just time to change the batteries it'll still look like it's working good but it's just not quite putting out enough umph to to cure it oh you brush it on okay cool nice does it ever like get crystalled mine will kind of get crystallized where is Stu? it's cat whiskery yeah hot pockets are a deal here Hey, what's up, Chad? Still hanging out? Oh yeah, I can hear I can hear you say it when you say it. <laughs> Being a sausages with hot sauce, midnight snack. That's what you're having right now. That sounds good. Let's see. It did look cat's whiskery. I bet he's in here. If he ain't, he's hanging. He's hanging close. Egg rolls are long gone. Yeah. My, the ones that I ate are gone, too. I'm gonna put some V V cut hackle feathers on here. Chad has got an insane houseboat. If y'all have not seen Chad's party barge, go check that out. It's pretty cool. Seen it last night on Mo Dog's channel. Soon to hit the water. Oh yeah, that's exciting. I liked all the lights and stuff you got on there, man. It looks super good. It looks like a fun, fun thing to have for sure. Got back from fishing, baked a confetti cake, just ate <laughs> just ate a solid percentage of it. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, you don't have the rotating stand. Half of it leaked out before you got to open the pack? What? Half of your resin? Dang it. Did you order it or did you buy it in person? use the cabin as my studio cool man that's nice
It does look awesome, yeah, for sure. Been a fun project, yeah. Picked it up, looked perfectly fine. The stuff was soaked up in that paper you get with it. I just bought mine. Are you talking about the resin? I just bought mine and all it was was just a bottle. I didn't get a kit or nothing. I didn't get no paper with mine. Oh, the instruct paper, okay. Instruction paper. Huh. That's crazy. That sucks that some of it leaked out, or a lot of it leaked out, but... A little bit goes a... such a long ways. So... I've resined a lot of jigs and have not made a dent in mine, it feels like. There's another little. Wrapped and taped paper towels around it and labeled it. Still plenty, yeah. <laughs> Dag, I'm good. The V cut hackle feathers like that kind of represent fins. The way that, um, you know, like a fish's fins are a V at the end. Because this obviously is going to come through the water like this. Looking like a minnow. Looking like a whole snack, hopefully. We got a green one. And then we're going to swap over to some red thread. Tie up some red ones. And uh, that'll do it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six red ones. Once we figure out what's on this John Deere green one. I will swap over to some olive. Thread will look pretty on here. Or I could do yellow and make an actual like John Deere green. That bug. Which bug? Oh, the bug you sent me a picture of. Got to get some rest. All right, fish head videos. Man, I appreciate it. Thank you for being here tonight. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Green eggs. Oh, yeah. Avocado and the bug. We can do it. The buggy. This stuff again. The fuzzy stuff. I think that's what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. All right. Do some avocado bucktail. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Exactly. That wasn't even Big Malone that said that. Look, Glacier Shark knows. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, avocado colored bucktail. I've got another one. It's kind of shaped funny. So. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of weird shaped, so. I, uh, but it's fine to like pull off some for the crappie jigs. But there's not enough, not enough on there to make a bucktail. 
like a bucktail, big bucktail jig, like a Bambi blade or one of our swim jigs. I am very, very excited for springtime and our bladed jigs. It's going to be a, it's going to be a bass fest on them things. It's going to be crazy. And we're obviously like trying to make a run at having this little bait company thing. Um, but also, like, I have a bass tournament that I, that Sophie and I fish for the company that I work for right now. Well, a bunch of the guys are saying, like, man, we're gonna get, we're gonna get some of those bladed jigs off of you before, before the tournament. I'm like, dang it, <laughs> it's bittersweet because, you know, obviously I want to sell and get my product out there and have people try it out and catch fish on it. But at the same time, the guys that I'm uh, fishing against, it's like, man, beat me with my own product. It's pretty brutal. myself <laughs> get this stuff to cooperate with me it's like it's twisted not wanting to I want to go on there, right? Add a beaded skirt for extra noise. Catfish editing. Bladed jig. Heck yeah, beaded skirt. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. No buck buzz. That's coming soon, Corey. That, uh, real soon. It's in route. All my molds and components are in route. We'll be here Monday. Tell them after the first tournament. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, that soon. That's what I was talking about earlier. I got something coming that's going to be crazy. It'll be... Uh, I ordered all components for those things. They will be here Monday. Build them, test them, run them. Of course, I got to wait for top water. I know I've used, I've put bucktails on them. Give them the ones with two rings. <laughs> yeah, those did not track straight. Those were not, no bueno. Bastard's going to love you. I hope so. That's the market. That's the goal. There's a avocado, guacamole bucktail, John Deere green head, all that crazy flashy stuff you like on there. That bucktail sticking out the back. Gonna get got. All, every, every one I've tied tonight, Corey. Victory hooks, my friend. Oh, I sent you the picture of it, yeah. 
I sent you the picture of it today while I was out there pouring them. They are nasty sharp. Oh yeah, the fact they search is good. The one ring still does it. Yeah, the one ring's good. I just had to order um had to order that line tie that was horizontal. I had to get that that Arky jig head. That Arky jig head and then put that horizontal line tie on there. That's got the old fancy threads. Fancy thread wrap on it. A couple different color browns. Crawdad imitator, if I've ever seen one. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be one that gets it in the spring. I'm gonna make some red ones up. It's gonna be something special. All right, so, Dylan, what? is mama asleep? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. Dylan, what? are you tired? Yeah. No. Are you sure? No. I think you are. No. Great blade of jig, great thump. White and red, bucktail or marabou? White, red, white, red. White marabou with red flash. White marabou. Oh, I got the crystal chenille. I just gotta find it. You know the drill. It would not be a complete live stream if I didn't spend half of it digging, digging for stuff. I'll put that up there for y'all's entertainment while I, uh, while I dig. Man, always takes longer than planned. It always does. Yeah, rigging up the pain. The wig itself, yeah. The old fish hair wig. You up? Is that what he said? What? You want me to come mess you up? Is that what he said? No, what did he say? I didn't say nothing. I hit you. What? You heard me? Yeah. Buddy, I wasn't talking to you. What? I was talking to the people on live. I I, I hit you. Well. I said, well. Trying to find the old crystal chenille. The wig itself. Oh yeah, you do feel good after you get everything rigged up just right and then you get out there and nothing works and you cut it all off and go back to the wacky rig because that's all you can catch fish on. Because that's what, that's what always happens to me. <laughs> all right, I might have to start moving stuff.
right, let's see. Uh, A-Rig, guys. Trust an A-Rig on 17-pound fluoro-liter with 40-pound braid. I throw my A-Rig on 20-pound braid. Or, uh, I throw my A-Rig on 50-pound braid, period. Because if I get it hung up, I want to be able to break, straighten out one of the wires and not lose the whole rig. I feel like 25. But then again, like I said, I've also never caught a fish on it. So probably why, uh, maybe why? Because they're line shy, I don't know. Supposed to be only 10 foot deep. Can you catch them like on a Domeki rig? 10 foot deep. Throw like a 16th ounce, something small. I do good on stuff like that. This is a little, not what I was looking for, but I'm gonna show y'all. We got Sophie and I a bunch of victory wacky rig hooks. One on beast mode wacky rig hooks right there. Got that little bit of an offset shank to where it's a little twisted. Those are some sharp, sharp uh, wacky rig hooks too. I like it a lot. Got a hundred of them. Again, victory. I've moved to using pretty much exclusively victory hooks. Shaky head, 14 pound K9 Co Poly. There you go. Man, I'm a light line guy. I love the smaller the better now. I mean, I mean, obviously not like when I'm heavy bass fishing, but still trying to find that crystal chenille. Help you get it out. What'd you get in there? Oh, here you go, buddy. What is it? That's a harmonica. <laughs> I blew the jiggy, I know. I'm losing people. Got your jigs, look good. Thanks again. Alright, Jake. I appreciate it, man. I'm glad you uh I'm glad they made it to you. You think you'll be able to catch anything on them? Out there, old sea bass? Play train. Oh, eight on the drop shot, ultralight is four. to figure out where my crystal chenille is. Drive me nuts. I've got this little white stuff, but it's got some flash in it, but it's not the crystal chenille. Bunch of moth chenille, so they're gonna be way too big. It's in this tote. There's no way it's not in that tote. 
Can't hang, going fishing early. All right, Jake. Well, good luck, man. If you happen to use them tomorrow or whenever you use them, um, be sure and take a picture of them. Send, send me a picture. I'd love to see them in a, in a fish. That'd be awesome. If not, no worries. You know, whatever. No big deal. Well, I want to find the stuff, Corey. I don't know. I hate to not give you what you want. Especially the main thing is just like, I know that I have some and then not being able to find it drives me nuts. Come here, peanut. You want me to fix that? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, come over here. Let me have it. You broke it. That one won't. No. Hey. Oh, you broke, broke that one, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's cooked. What? But that one's cooked. Cooked? Cooked. Like broke. Take it easy on this one, all right? Okay. That one's a little special now. That's your special truck. Whatever you got handy. No, let me see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Boom. Found it. What are you doing? Huh? Stinker punt? Yeah. Now you said white. Marabou. Red flash. And going fishing early. Let me go back up here and make sure you said red flash. White marabou. Okay. Found it. Sweet. Y'all can all quit looking. I appreciate your help and your concern. But we got it. Whatever. Whatever. I'm going to put a ridiculous amount on this little jig, too, because... Uh, Because I can. What, buddy? I'm one of my oh, you're saying one of your videos? Yeah, I'm saying one of my videos. So whatever. Oh, whatever. Get all the under fluff rolled out of there, and it'll help it not roll on the hook shank while we're tying it. Sorry about having to dig for that for so long, too, guys. I, I know it's kind of annoying. Your host doesn't, I guess, host or whatever you want to call me. Staring at my side, watching me try to bend over and find something is a pain, but appreciate you all sticking through that conundrum. I'm sure I'll do it five more times before, uh, before the live stream's over, so... This is kind of the Rock Creek way. Live a very unorganized. Unorganized little area over here and then I can't find nothing. Piece of red flash. Eleven people up in here. That's cool. Eighteen likes. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, mine's so bad. I mean, it's like just a pile, basically, just in a couple of totes next to me. Just, um, I pretty much have like chenilles are all in one and bucktails are all in another, but it's just a free for all. Especially the chenille crate, because some of them have come loose. And it's, I've got one that's just an absolute ball. At least 22 hours. Of what? Oh. Watch time from this one here.
Making a video fishing with Rock Creek. Jigs in the big water. Oh, dude, that's awesome. I'm excited to hear about them or see how they work. Super excited about it. Oh, yeah. Two hours strong on this live, yep. It's been 121 minutes and 47 seconds. Time's 11. Yeah, 22, yeah, for sure. It gives me a summary at the end. I'll be able to know exactly how many hours we get from it. I know we need 192 more. All right, Jake, heading to bed. Have a good night. I appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing your video. I know, yeah, like I said, ocean's hard to get through this time of year. Bye. Uh, Dylan said, subscribe to our videos. Bye. <laughs> I need 4K, yeah. I need 198 hours. And now we're losing hours every week. Silly boy. Whatever. Say what? Wet. Whatever. Wet. Whatever. Yeah, 4K. Dang it. 4K? 4K. 4,000. I don't know that that works anymore, Jake. Um, I think on the playlist thing, I'm, I kind of think, I mean, you're welcome to try. I'm definitely don't want to tell you not to, but I think they require a comment now if you're watching something off of a playlist. Rather just have 4K, yeah. Hey, David Smith, welcome in. Did your jigs make it to you yet? That one's on a red hook. Not yet. What in the world? I'll check the tracking on them, see where they're at. We shipped on um, Thursday, I guess, or something. I think. Today, I guess, is only just now uh, Friday. Hey, Terry. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in here. Yeah, I'd rather have 4K extra on my check, too, Big Malone. I'd give all my watch hours up for that if we got that every week. Cropo Slayer. Yeah, I'll check on your tracking number, David, and see where they're at. Uh, they should have generally just shipping like from here to Little Rock, whatever, it doesn't take long. Let's see here. Never know, probably be here tomorrow, yeah. I sent some to that guy, Glenn. <laughs> I was just about to tell the story. 
and I won't tell obviously where you live, but they would have went all around the state of Arkansas and they went to like three separate sorting distribution centers. I don't know what the deal with it is, but they will, uh, they should be there probably tomorrow. Hopefully yours as well. I think we shipped y'all's on the same day, so. We had like nine, I think nine or 10 orders we shipped out. 4K a month help out a lot. Yeah, it would. Sent mine to Montana. Did you look? Is that, are you serious? Or are you just joking? I haven't, I didn't check on yours today. Gold flash. Okay, I'll do that. We're just building some random stuff tonight. Um, not random, it's for Corey. I mean, it's not just completely random. It's all Corey stuff, but I find it ridiculous if I mail something north, it has to go four hours the wrong way, then 10 hours, wherever it goes. That's how we are. I'll like have to mail something like over to Oklahoma, where Corey is. I'll send it here. It'll go all the way to Little Rock and then over to him. Super strange, but... Oh, well. That's why they make the big bucks, I guess. I've seen your gold flash. I'll put gold flash on the next one. I think this one, I went with a red tail just to see what you think about it. There's definitely not a quick route out of Mina. If you come if you come through Mina, it's because you were trying to, pretty much. surprise me I'm joking oh yeah okay imagine all the gas money yeah no doubt delivery people use like probably 40 bucks a day on gas that little guy Corey that's a big Red, red and silver. Jiggy. <laughs> oh, dropped one. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Just one vehicle. Times however many, probably tens of thousands of mail delivery people are in the United States. Make one just all, all flash for the tail. Glad 
Glenn, Connor, get any more coyotes today? Or we gotta wait for a video. You got him a pretty good one in the video y'all put out today. Look like a good one. Yeah. Sun, yeah, tell me about it. Sunny and 60 degrees all week long. And then the weekend gets here and it's raining. Makes me sick. Ridiculous. Whatever. Welcome to Arkansas. Virginia too. Dang it. That little flashy thing. Then I've got this long it's a sample that spawn fly fish sent me. And it's their semi-seal acid rain dubbing. It's just a long stranded dubbing. Kind of a earthy toned thing. But I think we can build us a little fancy pants dubbing noodle here. And I think we can put a, some, some of that in there and make it look pretty cool. So I got that loop, you know, you can see that loop built now. Throw some of that long stuff in there. Next thing I gotta get me is a dubbing spinner. That's gonna be my next. Make me look like I know what I'm doing investment. I have to read that in just a second. Not today, one coon guy from the least didn't know. Are you kidding me? Took one? A guy from the least that didn't know what the traps were. A guy from that least didn't know what the traps were and dug one up and took one of his dog proofs. I bet. Thought the animals were doing something crazy. Yeah. yeah. It'd be wild. They start pulling those up, digging them up. Did, uh, I guess did Connor get his trap back? That sucks. Pretty wild that dude's even in there right now. It's kind of a weird time of year to be on the lease. Unless he's, you know, actually just late season bow hunting or something, but. I'm assuming he probably got it back, being that the way you said, you know, didn't know what he was doing, whatever. Got it back without too much issue, hopefully. Hey, you? Yeah. What you doing? Whoa. That's cool. Cat cleared a mantle. Cleared the mantle chasing a moth. Completely cleared it. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Dang it. Completely cleared it. Earthquake? Where you're at, for real, Corey? Big one just now? Are you all right? Like, big enough, you know, obviously, I guess, big enough that you felt it. It's pretty wild. Did make more sense as why the <laughs> sets were so tore up. Yeah. That's wild. I know it's probably such a pain doing it alone like he's doing, but be um maybe a good like how he makes his sets. I'd be interested in watching. Especially like all the homemade like shaker stuff or all the the dry dirt and stuff if he uses dirt. Or if y'all make your own dirt or any of that. Long story, but we aren't sure who it was. <laughs> Circulated a picture to other lease members and a boy sent Connor the picture. Oh, okay, I got you. That makes sense. <laughs> it would definitely be alarming. Oh, pink, we can do pink. Oh, pink. That's wild. It'd be nice if people could, you know, not mess with stuff. That's a pain. I know Connor probably go. I've I seen him like wearing gloves and all that stuff. He's, you know, making the effort to try to uh, keep his scent free as he can in there. And then that dude's just in there farting around. Valentine's Day in two weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dylan. I can't hear you, bud. What? Eating boogers? No, Dylan. Uh-uh-uh. Hey, are you ready to go night-night? You better climb up on mama and say, hold me. Hello, you. Hello. Valentine's Day Lures. Yeah. Felt like the movie Tremors for six seconds. Are you serious, Corey? That's insane, man. Do you have any damage? Also, is it not, like, pretty uncommon for earthquakes and also pretty alarming? I'll make a couple of trips with him and sort stuff out for him. Rode with him today. So, oh, so you were with him when he found out his traps were dug. Hopefully dude's just... Honestly, didn't know what was going on or something. Hopefully, he's not going to be an issue for y'all. The 
them guys on those leases i i'm not part of any leases or anything i know they can get pretty uppity about everything CFN, Clayton, what's up? How you doing, man? I missed you. Welcome, uh, welcome in, welcome in. I appreciate you spending your time with me tonight, bro. We're building some stuff. Painted Corey some jigs up in here earlier. And then uh, now we're tying those jigs that we painted. I got just a couple more and then it's gonna be night night time. Sophie and I may or may not have a long day ahead of us tomorrow, so. Dylan just woke mama up and said I pooped. Dylan, stop. What? Hey, how much longer? Hi. How much longer? Oh, I can get off here whenever you're ready. You ready? I got two two jiggies left, and I'll be completely done. And I can make it a quick two jiggies. Oh, pinky! Yup. All right. And then we got two more, Corey. And then we're done. One more here. It's a, uh, I think it's that sapphire or red. It's a, I think it's called red something. I've got a really hot pink. Um, I can tie one of those. Y'all pick. All right, let me tie this. This is a really hot pink. I can make it a hot pink UV resin. That'd be a neat little one. And then somebody else picked the last jig for Corey. Our earthquakes. Anyway, back to your earthquake, Corey. Is that not... um? Is that not pretty alarming? I mean, that's not not normal, huh? Chartreuse and purple. There you go. Purple, uh, purple tail, chartreuse body, or chartreuse tail, purple body? That's the question. Had a big one 24 hours ago? Why? Why are you having earthquakes? I don't know. I guess this doesn't seem normal, like like at all. It seems like it'd be extremely, extremely alarming. If we had an earthquake here, we'd be. I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, fracking, fracking holes. That makes sense. Chartreuse. Dabble of both tails. Oh, yeah. There's a hot pink. UV resin. Marabou, the Pink Panther. Do, 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 do. What's that sound? We have an earthquake? Both tails. That would do good here. Nice, nice, nice. Probably everywhere. <laughs> Bubble gum. Purple body. I can do it. And then purple and chartreuse tail. Purple body. So, purple thread to go with it. This is the grand finale. Last jig of the evening. Oh, pink. Yep. Stacy likes the pink. Worked good in Indiana. Up there for him. Purple and chartreuse. Purple and chartreuse. Bucktail. Or marabou. What do you want, Corey? Purple and chartreuse marabou or purple and chartreuse bucktail? I've got each of those. Extremely handy. So. That's right, Clayton. You know. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Hulk colors. What do y'all want? Clayton, you pick. Bucktail or Marabou? Kind of. I would say he's probably got more Marabou tonight than anything else. But No Hulk colors. Yeah, there you go. The Hulk jig. Get my purple body out here in a some Sonic drink. Wait on a... Whatever you think is good, I'm the master. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I'm going to go bucktail. I'm going to try to do something fancy. Let's say bucktail. Oh, yeah. For sure. Sparse buck. He said sparse buck. Not much of it. Just a little bit. Sparse bucktail is the way, I'm telling y'all. The way to catching the crappie. In my opinion. For whatever that is worth. 
Yeah, we about, I'm gonna put just a little bit of that chartreuse up top. Put that chartreuse in there like that. Need to get some for the feather trebles, yeah. Man, Clayton, I know this dude right here, if you go to MidwestBucktails.com, Midwest, best bucktails I think you'll probably find anywhere. Best ones I've found anywhere. Yeah, I'll get me some of that right off the bottom down here of that tail so that it'll flare out real good. And just kind of spread it around that chartreuse. I think it'll look pretty neat if it works out right. For sure, yeah, Midwest, he just makes a really, really good, he does a great job with his tails. Um, I order the large, you see that's a large tail. He's got premium that are, um, they're a little more expensive, but they've got a lot longer fibers. But for what you're doing for treble hooks, especially, man, uh, you don't need, you know, 12 inch long or four or five inch long fibers. If you ever order, if any of y'all ever order, um, tell them Rock Creek Bait Company sent you over. I won't get anything. He, You're not going to get anything, but still pretty cool to let him know that where you heard from, heard about him from. Oh yeah, that purple flared out nice. That's exactly what I was hoping. Of course, I'll flip it around and show y'all again, but check that purple flared out around that chartreuse. Prices aren't bad. Yeah, 10 bucks, um, 10 bucks a tail. I mean, they're, it's, you know, right on par with the rest of the bucktail market, of course. The premium tails are a little steeper, but like I said, it uh, you don't need a five inch long fiber for doing crappie jigs or uh, treble hooks or something like you were talking about. Purple body, I got it out. I wish all my chenilles were in a bag like this with the end coming out that would make my life a lot easier but they are not they're wadded up in a pile on the floor that's how i'm going to continue to live my life probably until i get a shop <laughs> yep. That's just the way it is in the middle of nowhere. Yep. An absolute jumbled up mess. I, th I blame mainly because I have a 40 hour a week job. And a lot of my jigs that I tie are very, very late at night because I have to like be at work during the day. So whenever it's 11 o'clock and you got to be up at 5 a.m. to go back to your day job, you kind of don't care where things land. And then you do that six nights a week, usually what I tie. Um, you do that six nights a week, it gets pretty hectic. 
And then you get live streams where you tie just random stuff. It gets a little wild up in here sometimes. Um, yeah, I'll tie, I can tie woolly boogers. Not real great. I'm not fantastic at anything weightless fly-wise. Um, I tend to stick more towards the jig side. I'll attempt to tie flies, you know, if I can. Yeah, that mouse. Kind of got the, the hairs all spread out funny. There you go. Went over the hair. Went over the tail weird. Baiting. Shed is a mess right now. Oh, yeah. That mouse, though. There's purple and chartreuse. Little purple body. It ought to catch them. That's a bunch of victory hooks. We'll be headed your way, Corey. Tomorrow is Saturday. Let me seal them up right quick. Find the old sealer stuff. Move that out the way. We got the three UV resin bodied ones you see me tie tonight. Plus there's an extra one that we're calling God's Promise. And then, I don't know how many, however many we tied here. Like 16 or so. Good stuff. Looks good. I appreciate it. Oh, chartreuse and purple. Very turbid waters. Nice. Yeah, it looks like uh, a lot of the times at that big lake you're fishing off your bridge, water does look pretty muddy. Here's somebody up here on the mountain behind our house ripping, driving like an idiot. What was that? Oh. Okay. Those will be killing them at lunch. Oh, yeah. Windy all the time in Oklahoma. Yep. And apparently they're having earthquakes. You seem a lot less concerned about it than I do, so maybe it's not near as a not near as a big deal as I thought. Your next video is dedicated to Thumpy. That's awesome. I'll be excited. Travis wants to see the bowls of jigs. Did I miss it? Oh, okay. My bad. Um, hang on just a second, Travis. I missed it, dude. My bad. Hey, Ted. Little old Pyrex bowl. He may be showing his wife the salsa bowl. <laughs> yes, yeah, little, I'm not going to turn it too much, but little Pyrex. Pyrex bowl. Oh, just liked all the colors. Yeah. Once I get them all sealed up, I'll pick it up one more time, show you all the way around it. Welcome in, Ted. I appreciate you stopping by tonight. 
we're tying the stuff. Actually, right now we're sealing everything that we tied. We're about to hit the hay. Everything sealed up. You can tell it's Pyrex because of the way it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can tell that thing's Pyrex because of the way it is. Score. That one's already been sealed. Boy. That one's a heavy one, but it's going to go to Corey anyway. Heavy. It's like an eighth ounce. We actually had a guy order some stuff off of our website the other day that was in quarter ounce. It was one of the first quarter ounce orders we've had on the ball head jig sides. So a lot of quarter ounce swim jigs and stuff, of course, but pretty wild quarter ounce ball head jig. That's a, that's getting on down there. Big old walleye jig or something. I don't know what he intends to catch with it. There ain't no telling. What weather conditions would you throw the Pyrex bowl in? <laughs> oh man. It'd have to be pretty bad to throw the Pyrex in there at them. That's the, that's the skunk buster right there. Sunny day with chilly conditions. A little chilly conditions. Two more. Please still be my friend. <laughs> oh, what'd you say? Oh, yeah, that's hilarious. Nacho weather. Nacho weather. That was a pretty big... Old session we had tonight, guys. Tied up a bunch of them. All right. Get one last spin on the old bowl here. Check it out. 1,100 likes. 1,100 likes. That's insane. Look at the old jig spin here. Got a bunch of them there. There we go. That's a heck of a rotation there. The bowl of thump candy, yeah. That's wild. Leave them all hanging up there and 
Hey, looks good. Thank you, Papa. That's a bunch of them. Nacho weather. Still trending up. That is insane. Every color combo you could ever need. Yeah. Yeah, that's something. Oh, Corey. He always gets a gets an arrangement. He never uh, never gripes about them, so he'll suggest a few colors, then the rest of them are just kind of whatever we craft up here. <laughs> and he uses them, so it's pretty funny. But I'm going to get out of here, guys. It's midnight. Daggum. I told Sofa I wasn't going to go past 1030. Dylan. I think he's asleep, too. I hadn't heard no commotion in a while, so he's either wiping his poop on the floor or he's asleep. He's doing something he ain't supposed to be if he's that quiet, but sleep before 10 don't count. <laughs> yeah, but it'll still count. Appreciate your dedication to the customers. No problem, man. It's fun. I have fun doing it. Y'all have a great night. Thank y'all for being here, and we'll see you tomorrow night, Saturday Night Live. So, we see how Corey rates. Bob, Bob, Bob equals jealous. Yep. <laughs> Good night, everybody. We'll see y'all tomorrow.